Good evening, good morning, whatever it is, it's cold. It's about five degrees and I have arrived at my favorite place to go shopping in general, including shopping for resale. I'm already distracted by the uh, outside stuff. Um, I'm gonna go inside. This is definitely gonna be my last stop of the evening. I am ready to uh, get inside. Oh gosh, there's so much going on out here. <laughs> favorite place ever okay well first of all this one is I've been passing up on these because they're more common but <laughs> at ten dollars and twenty percent off I can't really say no especially because this is my last stop of the day I'm gonna pick that up that's pretty cute too and uh, what about this Christmas angel it's one of the better selling ones but I'm gonna pass I've had that a lot in the past recently oh my gosh look at this holiday stencil kit that is too cute they have the best new old stock and just like literally everything all the doodads I get totally crazy here all right I'm gonna start a pile oh my gosh what is this that is so fantastic and it's got the original box. I've never seen one like that. I'm gonna have to do some math at that. So it comes to like $35. I don't know if I can uh, justify that for resale purposes. No, I don't think anyone be, would be mad at me if I did. Oh my gosh, look at this one. 14, the discount, is there a discount? ESP 15%. I think I might be able to swing that actually. The nylon wings are super hard to find and sell super well, especially with these little faces. Oh my gosh, look at this too. Oh, so spectacular. That one's a little close for me though. <gasps> what in the world is this? Look at this pin. That is fantastic and it's vintage. This is definitely coming with me. I've never even seen one remotely like this. At $12, there's still a little room to be made. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in my basket too. Oh, there's that star yard, Holt Howard. Santa dish, 155 though. That is retail on that. Those do sell for a lot of money. The starry eyed is probably one of the best selling Christmas things I've ever seen. Oh, this booth is my kryptonite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, calm down. First of all, good grief. Look at this giant flocked reindeer. I don't think I can justify spending that much on it for resale, but look at this, what is happening here? Santa and sleigh with box needs to be glued to sleigh. Okay, I don't wanna mess with that. Glue is uh, the keyword for get out. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I know I can make money on that too if I divvied it up in the little sets, but not as much as I'd like. And I've gotten a lot of chenille unique things, but what is going on here? $4.50 for the little reindeer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that too. And it's got, is it, wait, is it sticker eyes or painted eyes? Either way, it's new old stock. Um, I'm just gonna leave the plastic on it and grab it. Wait, there's a <laughs> curly cake pot cleaner. That is so fun. I have one of these too. I think they're so funny. Probably because my name's Kate. <laughs> but um, a little bit on the more common side. Now, I do have to look into this case. I am seeing a lot of stuff I've seen here before, but I'm also seeing a lot of stuff I haven't. Um, this, a, a lot of the stuff by this vendor is new old stock, which is why I'm willing to pay a little bit more than I would normally at other places. I'm not really seeing anything in the case today that I need to bring home. Although the snow babies are pretty unique. I'm not doing a very good job at showing it off. I'm kind of getting this little slap happy. <laughs> that pose doll is incredible too. A little too close for me, but I can't help but notice that cutie. But alas, they have another booth. Oh my gosh, so fun. $8. It's 
It's got a little bit of damage, but not that much. Hmm. A little. Oh, we have mini mugs. Oh my gosh, it's a whole new old stock set. And they are Napco, I believe, right? Um, gosh, $20 and 20%. We're gonna take these, but I am gonna piece them out. I'm sorry. Don't hate me for it. Now, what is going on here? Cute little picks. Um, $5. Let's see what they look like. They are pretty cute. Oh, and I love the packaging for five bucks. I won't make much of them. Oh, I feel like I'm getting out of hand already and I'm only like two boosts deep. So I'm officially at the point where I say I am going to do uh, a once walkthrough just to grab all the things that I can't stand leaving behind. Like this old stocking is only $5. Like how can I leave this stuff here? Although I'm nervous that that's gonna start cracking. So we got some Holt Howard situations happening here. First of all, the uh, sugar and cream with the cows. Unfortunately, that's $85, so I really can't do anything with it. And the cottage cheese jar is priced super cheap. It's $35, but it is as is. One of the cats is super repaired. What is going on with this? Look at this funny monkey. Oh my gosh, he's got little hearts. And his face is in good condition. I am grabbing this for $5 for sure. Oh, how fantastic. This is incredibly weird. This jointed doll. It's $18, but it's 20% off. I've really never seen one quite like it. It seems to have real hair. I am gonna go ahead and pull that out of the case and give it a better look because it's too weird not to. Oh, I'm not even showing it. <laughs> there it is. How weird. Well, while I'm waiting for the key, I'm gonna keep looking. Um, see a little poodle squeak. Unfortunately, there's no price tag on that. Let's see, gosh, there's so many things here. Little lion. Cute, I've had him before. 15 is retail on that. Look at this one. <gasps> $5? We're getting that, he's spectacular. That kind of tinsel trim is definitely on the more desirable side. Oh, look at this planter, $15, is there a discount? I guess I get 10%, I feel weird leaving that for that little. I'm gonna do it on my second sweep. Oh, I kinda, I'm being a cheapo. Like, look at this, how strange. A very unique expression. It's what was underneath it that was really calling my attention. This Holly Berry soap box. That is so strange. I don't think this would sell well, but <laughs> you never know. I kind of like it. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Oh, it does kind of have a smell to it. I'm gonna put it back. I will not buy anything that has a smell to it. And of course, there's those uh, Pose Pixies. I really adore them, but they're a little too high for me. A lot of cute Disney stuff. It's on the more pricey side. And I like the... I'm trying to see the price tag on this salt and pepper shaker back there. It looks looks like it's retail. Um, and the Santa Pics. Oh, $40. I thought it said four. That's a little confusing. Hmm. Don't see anything else. I mean, I see a lot of other things, but nothing at uh, my price point. Oh my gosh, look at that blue dog. But he's 12 bucks. So fun. Oh my gosh. Look what we have here. He's missing his family. But for $6, we do not care. We're going to go ahead and take him. He's got a great expression. Well, while we're waiting for the key, we might as well try and scout some more cases that we need to get in. Oh, there's so many things in here that are just so special that you don't see every day. Like, look at that Santa boxes. Oh my God, the Santa matches. Box only, $16. Okay, well we can't do anything with that. Um, 
sorry i'm having a hard time focusing my camera and focusing on what's going on at the same time now there's a little pixie back there the little angel let's see if we can there she is nine dollars i'm gonna look for her yeah i'm gonna need to get a key for her as well she's really hard to find that little choir girl but also in the set are these caroler boys, which I find do not sell as well. I had a single candle holder of this set for a long time before it sold for not much. They have such great figurines. It's all very reasonably priced, but a little too high for resale, at least for me. Oh my gosh, this snowman and this incredible Santa with the sleigh. Oh, I love that little blue mousy thing. Um, well, these snow baby overalls are pretty epic. Oh my gosh, and so is this dress. They have such great vintage clothing here. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm still kind of in the same spot. I'm scared that uh, if I move away too far, they'll forget me. I'm still waiting for the key. This is why I hate cases. There's a lot of people in here. I'm like very surprised. I did not think it would be as busy as it is. So just as I had suspected, uh, the little doll was a little too new. Well, it was way too new. I thought it was gonna be like 80s, but it was 2001, so I left it. But I did pick up the little caroler girl for $9.20% off. Let's keep going. I'm sure this is uh, too close for me, but I'm gonna look in 18 and 20% dang oh I just had one of those two well for $14.40 it's kind of crazy to leave this here because I sell them for 34 and usually pretty easily I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lap before I pick any more stuff up wait what I mean is pick any more stuff up that I've had before or seen before because I've been finding a lot of incredibly unique items today and I'm kind of feeling it Look at the Santa suit. <laughs> All right, we are going upstairs. 